بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم اسٹوڈنٹس آئی ویلکم یو ٹو لیکچر نمبر ٹویلو آف دا آن گوئنگ سیریز آف لیکچرس عزیز طلبا اس سے پہلے کہ میں آج کا لیکچر اسٹارٹ کروں چند چیزیں کالج کی طرف سے میں آپ کے ساتھ شیئر کرنے جا رہا ہوں سب سے پہلے تو یہ کہ کالج آپ کی اسسمنٹ پلان کر رہا ہے جو کہ غالباً بیس جولائی کے اراؤنڈ ووٹ ہوگی آپ کو بتانے کا مقصد یہ ہے کہ آپ اپنے آپ کو مینٹلی پریپیئر رکھیں اور دوسرا پوائنٹ آپ کی ہوم ورک اسائنمنٹس کے بارے میں ہے ان کو آپ نے بہت باقاعدگی سے کرنا ہے ٹیچرز کے ساتھ آپ ڈسکس کر سکتے ہیں اور اس کی ہارڈ کاپی آپ کالج کو ضرور ڈسپیچ کریں گے انہیں اسس انہیں اسائنمنٹ میں سے موسٹ لائکلی آپ کا اسسمنٹ آپ کی اسسمنٹ ہوگی اور یہاں تک انگلش کا تعلق ہے تو انگلش کے تمام نوٹس آپ کے پاس اویلیبل ہیں آپ ان سے مدد لے سکتے ہیں اور انگلش میں پوئٹری آپ کو تیار کرنے کے لیے تھوڑا مشکل لگے گی اور اس کے مارکس بھی کم ہیں اس لیے میں نے آپ کی آسانی کے لیے اس کی ایکسپلینیشن اس کی تھیم وکیبلری ہر چیز انکلوڈنگ دا شارٹ آنسرس آپ کے ساتھ سلائڈس کی شکل میں شیئر کیا ہے آپ اس کو فارمیلٹی نہیں سمجھیں بلکہ جو بھی پوئم آپ کو کروائی جا رہی ہے اس کی پیرافریزنگ اس کی ایکسپلینیشن اور اس کی وکیبلری اور شارٹ آنسرس آپ روزانہ اپنی رجسٹرز میں لکھیں گے کیونکہ اس ویکینڈ کی جو اسائنمنٹ ہوگی وہ پوئٹری کی پوئٹری میں سے ہی ہوگی اور آپ کو کرنے میں آسانی رہے گی اگر آپ نے پہلے سے اپنے رجسٹرز میں وہ ہوم ورک کیا ہوا ہوگا تھینک یو جینٹمین نو آئی موو آن ٹو آر ٹو ڈیز لیکچر ویل وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ٹیک اپ پوئم نمبر ٹو فرام بک تھری The title of the poem is Night Mail, which is written by W. H. Auden. So let's get started with the text of the poem. Well, gentlemen, in this slide, I have reproduced the text of the poem. Let me tell you that reading a poem is a source of delight. So here I go. This is the night mail crossing the border. آپ دیکھ سکتے ہیں کہ بارڈر کا بی کیپٹل ہے یہ ایک پراپر نون کے طور پر یہاں پر استعمال کیا جا رہا ہے یہ انگلینڈ اور اسکاٹ لینڈ کا کامن بارڈر ہے برنگنگ دا چیکس اینڈ دا پوسٹل آرڈر لیٹرز فار دا رچ لیٹرز فار دا پور دا شاپ ایٹ دا کارنر دا گرل نیکسٹ پلنگ اپ ایٹ بی ٹیک اے اسٹیڈی کلائم بی ٹیک کا بی کیپٹل ہے اس کا مطلب ہے یہ کسی مقام کا نام ہے جگہ کا نام ہے وہاں پر پہاڑ تھوڑا ڈلوان ہے پلنگ اپ بی ٹک اے اسٹیڈی کلائم دا گریڈینٹس اگینسٹ ہر گریڈینٹ کہتے ہیں اپ ورڈ یا ڈاؤن ورڈ سلوپ کو اسے انگلش میں اسینٹ اور ڈسینٹ کہا جا سکتا ہے دا گریڈینٹس اگینسٹ ہر بٹ شی از آن ٹائم پاسٹ کاٹن گراس اینڈ مور لینڈ بولڈر مور لینڈ ہلی ایریاز کو کہتے ہیں بولڈر چٹانوں کو کہتے ہیں Shoveling white steam over her shoulder, snorting noisily she passes, silent miles of wind-bent grass, birds turn their heads as she approaches, stare from bushes at her blank-faced coaches. Sheepdogs cannot turn her course, they slumber on with paws across. In the farm she passes, no one wakes, but a jug in a bedroom gently shakes well gentlemen this slide contains the difficult vocabulary used in the poem the first word is a verb which at times also used as an idiom pull up its equivalent words are stop halt draw to halt break pull in اور اپنے آپ کو پریپیئر رکھنا کسی چیز کے لیے کسی چیلنج کے لیے اس اس کو بھی پل اپ کہا جاتا ہے پل اپ یور ساکس فار دا ایگزامس فار دا میچ اسٹیڈی 
is an adjective. It means uniform, constant, even, consistent, unvarying, gradient. As I explained while I was reading the poem, it is an upward climb or downward slope. So its equivalent words are slope, ascent, descent, incline, or rise. The next word is moodland. It is a noun. Its equivalent words are heath, hill, upland, high ground, highlands. The next one is an important word, boulder. Boulder is a noun. Its equivalent words are rock, stone, sarsen. Next word is a verb as well as a noun, shovel. Shovel ek tool ka naam bhi hai aur shovel ka matlab throw bhi karna hota hai, phenkna bhi hota hai. Its synonymous words are throw, cast away, scoop, spade, troll. Next word is snort. Snort is a verb as well as a noun. Ek awaz ko kehte hain, ek expression ka naam bhi hai, grunt, growl, howl, roars or snarl. Next word is stare. Stare as you can see is a verb as well as a noun. Gaze, gape, glare, glower, and intent look. Slumber is an important word, which is a verb as well as a noun. Its equivalent words are sleep, doze, siesta, nap, drowse. And the last word in the slide is shake. This is rather a common word, which is a verb as well as a noun. Its equivalent words are stir, vibration, tremble, shudder, and tremble. Well, students, you have to not only write these words in your notebooks but you also have to memorize them and learn them well dear students this slide carries the theme of the poem as i have already told you that it is not important for you to write the theme but it is important for you to at least know the idea or the theme of the poem because without knowing the idea of the poem you cannot understand or comprehend the poem therefore for your convenience i have <coughs> produced the theme of the poem here w H. Auden seems to be inspired by the beauty of the site around the railway track that connects England with Scotland. The splendor of the scenery is augmented by the running train. The train travels at night and carries mail for the people living across the divide of the border. The train actually is a means of communication between people of both the countries. The track is sometimes an upward descent and the next moment a downward descent but the train is always on time it travels through mountains lush lush green plains cotton fields and residential areas the birds cast a glance on its empty coaches from their nets from their nests without feeling scared the sheep dogs continue to enjoy their sleep undisturbed by the fast approaching train it does not disturb the life of the people living beside its, its track. Well, students, the theme of the <coughs> poem can also help you write the explanation. So you need to go through the theme very carefully so that you can write the explanation of any poem very conveniently. Well, gentlemen, here in this slide, I have given you the reference, context, and explanation of the first part of the poem. There are total 16 lines in the poem. And here in this slide, I have given you the explanation of the first eight lines. Well, this is how you are going to write the reference. Well, these lines have been taken from the poem Nightmare, written by W. H. Auden. Reference is going to remain the same for the entire poem. Koi bhi poem ho, us mein sirf reference mein aap poem ka naam aur shair ka naam likhenge, iske alawa kuch nahi. Context mein aapne poem ka background likhna hota hai. Well, the poem is a poetic description of the journey of the night mail that travels at night between England and Scotland. 
It carries mail and serves the purpose of communication between people living on either side of the border. The running train brings in motion to the otherwise static imagery and adds to the beauty of the landscape. Explanation In these lines, the poet adds the literary taste to the description of the journey of the night mail. The train runs on a track lying between England and Scotland. It brings letters, postal orders, and checks. In this way, it communicates very effectively the news of all kinds. Despite the hazardous track, it never gets late. It passes through lush green plains and hilly areas, steadily throwing white steam over its shoulders. Well, gentlemen, this was the explanation of first eight lines. Aapne tamam explanations apne registers mein likhni hai. Tamam ki tamam. Dear students, this slide carries the explanation of the last eight lines and these are very very important lines also for trans for explanation well reference and context as i told you are going to remain the same for the entire poem so let's start our explanation of the last eight lines in these lines the poet highlights the manner in which the train runs on its track it grunts as it moves forward it covers long distances through the plains hilly areas and the meadows the birds are used to watching the train so they do not fly away to see the fast approaching train similarly the sheep dogs continue to enjoy their slumber as they are trained to keep the flock together by bringing back the stray sheep but it is beyond their capacity to change the direction of the train the people sleeping in their homes beside the track do not feel disturbed at all as they have become accustomed to the passing train for years well gentlemen this was the explanation i would again very strongly ask you to write these explanations in your registers so here is the last slide of today's lecture it comprises of short answers from poem number 2 Question number one, where does the train travel? The train travels on track between England and Scotland. Question number two, what does the train carry? The train carries letters of all kinds, postal orders and checks for the people living across the divide of the border. Question number three, what purpose does the train serve? This is a very important question with con in the context of the poem. The train serves the purpose of communication between people of both the countries number 4 why don't the birds fly away to watch the train the birds have become used to the fast approaching train so they neither feel scared nor do they fly away question number 5 is very very important rather the most important one in this exercise why do the sheep dogs slumber on as the train approaches well the answer is The sheep dogs are trained to attend the flock so they do not let the sheep stray about but it is beyond their capacity to change the direction of the train therefore they continue to enjoy their slumber undisturbed while the train approaches near i repeat the sheep dogs are trained to attend the flock so they do not let the sheep stray about but it is beyond their capacity to change the direction of the train therefore they continue to enjoy their slumber undisturbed while the train approaches near main urdu mein bhi bata deta hu aapki aasani ke liye ki jo sheep dogs hote hain jo wo flock ko attend karte hain unhe ye train training to di jati hai ki wo kisi bhi bed ko jo ke flock ko chhod ke idhar udhar chali jaye wo uski direction change karke usko to wapas flock mein le aate hain lekin zahir hai ki wo chalti hui train कि डायरेक्शन को तब्दील करने से कासर हैं उनके अंदर इतनी कैपेसिटी नहीं है इसलिए वो अनडिस्टर्ब रहते हैं और अपनी नींद को एंजॉय करते हैं वेल द लास्ट क्वेश्चन डज द ट्रेन डिस्टर्ब द लाइफ एट फॉर्म नो इट डज नॉट डिस्टर्ब लाइफ एट द फॉर्म बिकॉज द पीपल हैव बिकम अकस्टम टू द नॉइज ऑफ द ट्रेन फॉर ईयर्स एंड ईयर्स एंड इट इज अ नॉर्मल रूटीन फॉर दैम वेल स्टूडेंट विद डैट आई कंक्लूड लेसन नंबर ट्वेल्व लेक्चर नंबर ट्वेल्व ऑफ द सीरीज I would again ask you to write these questions and their answers in your registers thank you gentlemen